welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky crazy kids in love that love doing some trailer reactions together. Going back to our roots, we're kooky crazy kids. Yes, we are. We are. I and mean, we forever will always be kooky and crazy kids. And it is Triple Trailer Tuesday, people. Woohoo! So you know what that means? It means that we're doing three trailer reactions from the same franchise. And this one is Detroit Become Human. It's supposed to be a, a great story and um, great game to play. We like looking, a good story. Looking forward to it. It's been just over an hour since a little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. Details are still emerging on what exactly happened. But the hostage ship is impressive. Negotiator on site. It just takes me a couple times to do that. So we're like a robot negotiator? Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? Right, you need to go. You can't do that. You, why aren't you sending a real person? Captain Allen, my name is Khan. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. Saving that kid is all that matters. So oh, you take this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. He has to take orders. Oh my god. No! All three different outcomes. I trust you. Oh no. Um, I mean, Better. yeah, they were never going to let a homicidal robot live. Yeah. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. Did what I had to do. My name is Connor. This is our story. Okay. Cool. Sold. <laughs> beautiful scene mm -hmm. <laughs> 
last a little while longer. Everything Yeah, the triangle, the circle, where's the square? Yes. Yeah. This is the night our people will remember. She's oh, got a lot of skin for it snowing out. Oh, she's an neighbor. We're gonna attack those stores and sit He's from Grey's Anatomy. Oh, he is! That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Let's get him out. We'll stick to the plan. Neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. You're awake now. Ooh. Okay. A little Westworld action happening there. Marcus, watch out. You were fitting a class three fence. This is fraction of the Yeah. Shit. We gotta go. What? We can't just leave our people behind. It's too late. If we stay here, we're gonna get shot. North, our people need us alive. There's nothing else we can do. Marcus! Just like you, I was a slave. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus. I'll follow you, Marcus! Then follow me! Interrupt this broadcast with cool. breaking news. Police report that pro android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyberlife stores. Given the facts, it's pretty clear these attacks are linked to the deviant video message broadcast recently from the Stratford Tower. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated attack. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Violence is the only language humans understand. Numerous stores oh. have been broken, but yeah. guess it's violence and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. We're getting reports that hundreds of androids have been stolen from Cyberlife stores. Revenge, spare, do nothing. What do you think? My name is Marcus. I am one of them. This is our story. It's cool, one green eye, one blue eye. That's mm -hmm. cool. 
So you get to choose like whether you play as like the revolutionary or whether you play as like the cop, or do you like go back and forth between the storylines? <laughs> uh, yeah, and my guess is you go back and forth. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Right away, Todd. Ah, oh, she's the actress from the following. Aren't you going to school today? I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Um, so it was so cool seeing the three different storylines uh, in this game. I don't know if there's even more storylines than that, but uh, it was, it was, yeah, I, I'm very fascinated by it, by like how many different choices there are yeah. and how that affects the, the story. I really hope that it does affect the story because in uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, when we played it, it felt like no matter what choice you made, like the outcome was already predetermined. It was just kind of like the, mm -hmm. the, the, the cut, the scenes that you saw that led up to what eventually was going to happen no matter what. Like, you know, I mean, it, that's what it kind of felt like. Um, this one doesn't feel like that. It feels like there is going to be, um, some sort of change to the story. Um, it reminded me of Hard Rain. Yes. That is exactly what it reminded me of. Um, I'm... Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain, sorry, yes. Um, I'm very curious about the world. It felt very authentically futuristic. The drone police force and, like, the, the workers becoming androids and, and... It felt very, a very good representation of what our society is likely to evolve into based on the current state of affairs. I think between the three storylines that we saw, I'm most interested in the detective one. Um, the detective work of, of that, I think would negotiator. be- Negotiator. Yeah, the negotiator. I, th I think that one would be really awesome. Then maybe the pacifist or like the, the one that's like leading the, the rebellion. Um, and then the third and final one, uh, I think that one's probably gonna be the one that's gonna be the best story, mm -hmm. uh, but it might not be the most fun to play, uh, just because the choices seem to have a lot more, yeah, darker uh, consequences. I mean, 
there was a child that was getting killed in the, in the, in the first one that we saw that she fell off the, the roof and everything like that. Yeah. It's not like that was super happy fun times either. <laughs> I think it looks uh, fascinating and it's definitely something that we want to play on this channel um, eventually. And I'm glad we checked it out. Uh, so thanks so much for checking out our Triple Trailer Tuesday reaction for Detroit Become Human. Um, let us know what you thought about these trailers down below in the comments. And just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.